Hey there, it's me Critzy. Welcome back to Roguelike Roulette. Or should I say Broguelike Roulette? Because that's the thing that we're playing today. We're playing Bro Brogue, a game called Brogue, which um was suggested to me in the last video. I thought, hey, how how do you how do you bring up audio uh, audience interaction other than heeding what they ask for? So. I mean, it wasn't really a request, it was just a suggestion, you know, hey, Critzy, you might like this game. And, yeah, yeah, I like the way it looks, like, on, on, on paper, and I haven't even tried playing it yet, but I'm told that it actually looks pretty pretty, pr pretty pretty. It, it looks fairly pretty for a game entirely based in ASCII, which I guess isn't entirely true, because it's got all these cool colors and everything, so it's not a proper console game, like, you know, console as in, you know, it's c command constant, whatever, you know what I mean. So it's not pure ASCII, it's just, you know, based on ASCII from what I see here. You know, all these pretty colors and everything and animations. So, yeah, it, it does ha have, a, have, have a certain appeal, though, which I'm, I'm stoked about getting to see. Now, uh, I've been told that this game is a lot like uh, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, if you've, uh, if you, if you ever heard of it. Which is a uh, which is a pretty pretty uh pr pretty popular one. You might have heard of it, yeah. And um, however, it has a few key differences in that it's uh it's perhaps a little simpler, and there are no classes or levels or you know characters or everything or anything. It seems like most of the progress is based around uh, equipment and everything, which is something I'm interested in seeing because you can kind of uh upgrade your own equipment and everything. So. Yeah, so let's uh, get into a game. It's also got this really cool click clicky system. You can click on stuff. So, yeah, it looks pretty good so far. What, what do we see? Hello and welcome, adventurer, to the Dungeons of Doom. Retrieve the amulet of Yendor from the 26th floor and escape with it. Yeah, first question mark for help at any time. All right, so click, click, click to travel. Um, uh, enable keyboard and cursor control, all right, disable uh, arrow keys and everything, apply is, yeah, it's just a whole, just a bunch of basic weapons, you know, I mean, basic buttons for roguelikes, uh, inventory, yeah, the discovered items, cool, rest, rest is Z, so that's a good, good thing to note, um, oh, you have to manually search for secrets and stuff in this one, I've never played this, by the way, so, uh, auto explore is S, I mean X, okay, so an autopilot, autopilot is A, yeah, messages is M, saving, alright, uh, color effects, cool, uh, and display stealth range, alright, let me sip my water here. <clears throat> More like chug my water, am I right? Anyway, so... On the right, uh, left there, I see that I have uh, health, nutrition, stealth range, and uh, inventory there. And a list of what I can see on the floor. All right, all right, all right. And, uh, yeah. You know, the the way it looks kind of reminds me of Caves of Kud. Kud? Kud? Should? I don't know. The one with the mutants and stuff. I've never actually been able to get very far in that game because I'm not very experienced. Let me just uh, scan over this one more time. So resting... And searching, those are two things that I that I need uh, to make note of. Uh, how do I disable the, uh, the the mouse again? No, dang it, whatever. All right, where's that jackal at? Get out of here, jackal! All right, so uh, the floor is splattered with blood as I hit the jackal, and he mauls me in return. Oh no, I've defeated him though. Grass-like fungus crunches underfoot. What is this? Uh, what, what is this? thingy here. Oh, that's the gold that I'm seeing. Alright, so I pick up that gold. So, uh, is it automatically picking things up? Can I press X to look around? No, uh, X, uh, I guess I have to look around with my mouse. Uh, rickety rope ridge, cool. And chasms. And brink of a chasm. Okay. Um, pink potion. Now, I remember seeing a pink potion there. This is a pretty neat game. It's got pretty neat atmosphere and everything. What is that? It's a rat. Rat, rat. Uh, no. Rat, play, kill that rat. Yeah, defeated the rat. This is pretty good. The floor is splattered with rat blood now. Dense foliage fills the area, thriving on what sunlight trickles in. And what's that? It's a wooden door. Cool. I guess doors don't open in this. And here's the potion. 
Alright. So I got... Oh, shoot! Rat! Rat hit me. Let's hit the rat back. Yeah! Uh, there. They're okay. So, uh, do, do I need... Yeah, okay, so searching does increase my health and everything slowly. Sunlight streams through rough cracks in the ceiling. Alright. Window deselected for a sec there. Come on. And it also wasn't moving for a minute. Alright, so I, I don't know... I'm not familiar with this game, so I'm not entirely sure... Uh, oh, you can't move diagonally through walls? So you can't move past walls diagonally. Pro tip, good to know. Alright, that's interesting. Also, I don't know what indications they have in this game for uh, hidden doors and stuff. I used to know that pretty well for uh, Dungeon Crawl. Oh, and you can go through the thick foliage, too. Cool. Uh, this door? What's in here? Another little house? Cool. This is this is a nice atmosphere. Graphics and everything. However, it's going to bug me that you can't move diagonally through corners. Alright, we got a kobold and a jackal, both sleeping. Oh, kobold is going to wake up to me fighting this jackalany. No? Oh, now he's awake. There we go. And we got a scroll entitled Flirksflem Herbaglorp. Yep. Uh, let's see what that scroll does. Does it enchant? Does it enchant my stuff? No, it's a remove curse scroll. My pack glows with a cleansing light. However, nothing happens. And here's another chasm. I guess you can walk on the edge. Uh, area filled with foliage. What's over here? Ooh, a secret, mayhaps? Where am I? Uh, I'm in the dark now. Okay. The area appears to be... Ha the area happens to be cloaked in shadows. Perhaps a safe place to hide. Alright. Uh, safe place to hide some secrets, too? Hey! No, nope, apparently not. Well, that was a neat room. Alright. Anything over here? The skin? Nope. See, uh, you can't. Al this also gives no indication of when I'm scanning for things, too, which is, you know, difficult for people who are watching. Hey, a rat! Slaughter that rat! All right. Um. Okay, now we cross this bridge. Rickety rope, rickety rope bridge creaks underfoot, and that jackal is going to be upset about not being able to get to me. All right, another room. Ooh, I like, I like this. I like this. This game. It looks so pretty. Uh, however, it's not on a standard uh, standard resolution, so like not standard, but standard for YouTube. You know, it's it's in a weird resolution. All right, where'd that jackal go? Uh, who cares? I mean, I probably care because jackals seem to be the biggest threat so far. Area happens to be cloaked in shadows. Oh no, a tribe of kobolds sleeping. Yep, I got one while he was asleep. Uh, you dispatched the kobold in its sleep. Yes, cruel but effective. And there's a downstairs, so I want to make sure to uh, get these guys while they're sleeping, I guess. All right, and there's something hiding beyond here. What is that? A willow staff! Ooh, I've heard about these things. They, like, recharge. Uh, uh, call? No, uh, how do I, uh, no, uh, wield? Where? Wield? No, uh, question mark. Please help. Apply equip is E. Okay, so equip uh, the willow staff. I can't equip that. Uh, take off? No, not throw. How to take off? Uh, remove is R. Okay, remove that dagger. Now can I equip the staff? No. Oh, okay, I guess you don't need to equip the staff. All right. Uh, apply the staff. All right. Uh, zap my staff towards the, that, that wall there. Didn't tell me shit. Didn't didn't give me any announcement or anything. At least Dungeon Crawl has the courtesy to tell me when something's going on. I also like that the foliage gets removed when you walk through it. Alright, so, yeah, in the future, keep a lookout for dense foliage. Something's probably hidden behind them. And on to the next floor. Oh, it just automatically descends me. So what is that thing? A bloodwort stalk. Alright, what's, uh, what are these... Stars around it. A spindly plant grows seed pods, famous for their healing properties. Oh! Ah! Oh, okay, that was healing. All right, that's healing spores. Cool. And thick, th thick, thick foliage. Thick foliage. All right. Uh, what? Are, what is this? 
What is this that I see here? Shallow water. Okay. Neat. I like the little animation on the water, too. Can rats swim? Is it going to swim across to me? Jackals can apparently swim. And there's the jackal. Can I apply my staff? Can I shoot them all the way over there? Yeah, jackal. Bam! Oh, it's a staff of protection. Oh, okay, did I just... I just protected the jackal. Okay, well, that's good to know that that uh, st staff apparently gives a shield. This is a neat game. So let's uh, let's see if I can do that on myself. Bam! Oh. B bam? Use it on my on myself? Can, can I not... Can I not can I not apply a shield to myself? <sighs> Apparently not. Or maybe it just needed time to recharge. I guess I'll I'll know in the future. Um, we also got splint mail, but I think I want to keep my leather armor because because leather is cooler. P Pus herbapora, and uh, dispatch that kobold into sleep. Yeah, stealth is better than strong. This reminds me of Dungeons and Dragons for some reason. I wonder if anyone's tried to uh, make a roguelike based off Dungeons and Dragons. A monkey! Cool, I don't want to fight you. Uh, whatever, I will. Alright, monkeys apparently take four hits. Anyway, this some, for some reason reminds me of Dungeons and Dragons, and I wonder if anyone's tried to make a Dungeons and Dragons uh, roguelike, you know, proper ASCII game or something. Explore over here. There's a door across the river. I like this. I like this a lot. And another scroll. This one's named Flirkspoder Flirmnert. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's look at a couple of these scrolls. J. Apply it. Whoa! Magic mapping. Cool. That's neat. I love that effect. That pretty, pretty, pretty effect. All right, and uh, what's this one? L? Scroll of Identify. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, it just gives you a minute. All right, stack, stack, stack of projection. I guess I can identify a potion. Cool, potion of invisibility. All right. So cool. I, I love this game so far. I mean, it, I don't even care about the lack of levels or whatever. It's nice. Simple. It's a good, uh, good quick game so far. It's a good game to get into just, just because. Don't gotta, don't gotta plan a whole day around it. Right, uh, and here is a rosewood staff. Right, so can't wait to see what that one does. Violet potion. Um, and there's rooms over there too, which I'm guessing will have loot in it because the door is in this room. Uh, hopefully it has loot anyway. And there's another blood thingy seed. How do I eat these corpses? Can you not eat corpses in this game? And there's that that a dungeon crawl thing. <laughs> Dungeon crawl and dwarf fortress, really. Right, and there's a scroll through this foliage. Room of curse, cool. And another scroll, uh, entitled Mertflin Woos. Cool, cool magic names. Cool wizard name. Right, and uh, nah, nothing in here. So I guess uh, apply that new scroll. Scroll of en uh, enchantment, cool. Uh, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll apply that to my armor, because so far the uh, the dagger's doing good and the staff is doing good, and uh, but I keep getting hit. Oh no! Fifteen darts float away. Oh no, my potions! No, no, my stuff is floating away in the river. Oh Jesus Christ! My stuff just started. Fl okay, that's cool. Don't swim because your stuff is gonna float away. All right, good, good to know. Uh, oh, and my health is regenerated. And down another stairs, here's a big old chasm. Alright. Grass like fungus crunches underfoot. Ah, thick foliage, there's the stairs down, and a push uh, scroll over yonder. However, there's a. Uh... Whoa, what is that? Eel. Alright, I can take on an eel. Yeah. No, yeah, yes, yes, I can, I can fight an eel. Maybe not. Maybe don't fight an eel. Maybe do not fight an eel. Oh no, my health. Oh no, the jackal. All right, let's see if I can use that protection s staff on myself. Yep. Yes, sap myself. Y yes. Will Will you do it? Uh, zapping your staff of projection. Can I do it on myself? Tab. How do you? 
Let me try one more time, because I might be doing this wrong. Staff projection, protection, click on myself. All right, whatever. Uh, what about this Rosewood staff? Can I use that on the Jackal? Uh, staff of tunneling. Cool. Not useful against a Jackal, but useful in the future. And another eel. There's no way to get past it easily. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty low on health. This this might be the end of this character soon. Well, I mean, probably this series, too, because I have other, other stuff that I want to play. And a rat. We can take care of that rat. Another jackal. He was sleeping, so I got him good. And another enchanting scroll. All right. P, uh... I guess my armor again. <laughs> ah. What I really want is, like, a super enchanted magic staff. Uh, magic mapping. I'm not going to use that on this floor. I'm going to use it on the next one. Oh, right, there's an auto-explorer, isn't there? Um, what is the button? Uh, auto-explorer. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's a monkey. Cool. Uh, come on, monkey. I'm going to get you. I'm going to chase this, chase this monkey. Uh, yes, got him. Yes, no, fuck. Come on, monkey. I'm gonna get you. Uh, there we go. Got him. He took my potion of invisibility, apparently. Alright. Uh, now we just have to go back down there. What is that capital J? A jelly. I don't trust it. Jellies are intense. Ah, eel. No, fuck. I got caught by an eel, and now the kobold is following me. Oh, no, the jelly. Oh no, jellies, they, they clone themselves. Oh, jelly swarm! Oh fuck, the pool is just filling with jelly. Oh, okay, it wasn't that intense. Oh fuck, eel got me. Uh, sneak through here. Just away from the eel pools, please. Alright. Uh, what is this? Oh hey, a, a blood thing thing. Oh, and a goblin. Proper, proper enemy. An honorable opponent. Yeah. Alright, let's do the blood fruit thing, bask in its cancer-inducing spores. I, I suppose the term would be carcinogenic. Yeah. And now this last chamber, and then we'll be done. Oh! Cool, so a secret door with a key. Where should I find such a key? Uh, let's use my magic mapping scroll. Ah! I've missed a secret door up to the north. Interesting. I certainly want to see what's in that secret room, for I see an, a symbol that I do not recognize within it. Oh, I'm hitting the eel. It's in stealth. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't swim. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm not sure if I defeated the eel or if it just uh, sank further into the water, but... Yeah, why don't I just click? Click over here. Yeah, convenient. Okay, search for this door. Come on. Oh, there we go. Apparently I found it. Didn't announce it, though. All right, so what do we have in here? Chilly winds blow upward from the Stygian, Stygian depths. It's just depths. Yeah. I have a door key. Cool. What is what is this tile here? A candlelit altar. So can I use it? Uh, enter. No. Uh, question mark. Can I use something on the ground? Um, no, I'm thinking no. Uh, nope. Nope, apparently not. Also, I want to eat that mango that I found or whatever. Yeah, there's mango. Yeah. My, what a yummy yay mango. Yeah. All right, come on down there. Go see that room. What am I seeing here? Uh, I see a jackal. That's okay. And I unlocked the room, so what do I see here? A very orange room, so we'll press X and wand, charm, mail, wand. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh jeez. Alright. Well, uh, time to pick shit up. Ornate carpenting fills the room, a relic of ages past. Cool. Cage open on the bottom hangs over this altar with a retractable chain. Okay. Oh, it's not carpentry, it's carpeting. All right, so the cage fell on that, right? Oh, it's got traps and stuff. All right, so I want that charm. Missing item must be replaced before you can access the remaining items. Oh, okay. 
So, I gotta drop... Oh, I can only take one thing? A Wand of Beckoning. What does that do? I don't know. What, what else is in here? What is the, what is this uh, thing down here? Uh, statue and... Yeah, two statues. Alright, so... Charm. Charm of Haste. Okay. What else, uh, what else do we see? War Axe. Staff of Blinking. Uh, Wand of Empowerment. Oh, they actually give it descriptions? Permanently improve the mind and body of any monster it hits? What? Uh, adventure will use it on allies, making them stronger in combat and able to learn a new talent from a fallen foe. Wait. Wait. Uh, if the boat is, bolt is used and reflected back at you, it will have no effect. Oh, so you can't zap yourself with things. All right. Uh, blinking will allow you to teleport in the chosen directions. Creatures and inanimate obstructions will block the teleportation. Dangerous terrain as nothing will prevent you from teleporting into a fiery death in a lake of lava. All right. Cool, that sounds neat. War axe, uh, enormous steel head of this axe. Considerable heft, all right. Beckoning, what does that do? Will yank the targeted creature into direct proximity. Hmm. And uh, what's, the, what's the haste charm do? Um... Plus two haste charm. Various animals have been etched into the surface of this brass bangle. Uh, it emits an audible hum. You, When you use this charm, it will haste you for ten turns and recharge in 348. Oh, jeez. Haste will last 12 turns and recharge in 200 turns if I enchant it. Cool. I think I'm going to keep keep that one. Yeah? And if I ever need to run away, I can use that. All right, so that's the item I'm going to take. I'm not going to take anything else. Not sure if I could even accomplish taking more than one thing, because I'm unfamiliar with this. Goblin Conjurer! Dude! What did he have? He had scale mail. Nah, thanks. Okay, so descend another floor. Um, what is... what is this? A net trap. Alright, and a uh, cloud of explosive gas! No thanks. Uh, enormous warty toad. Secretes a powerful hallucinogenic slime. All right, uh, forty percent chance of hitting you typically hits you for eight percent. Okay. Ah, I like this analytics that it gives. It tells you uh, you have a one hundred percent. Yeah, dude. Let's uh slaughter that toad in its sleep. I defeated it. Yeah, it didn't even make me hallucinate. Uh, you are knee deep in thick, foul-smelling mud. All right, and there's a trap here, so I'd probably want to avoid this gas as much as possible. Because it kind of looks explosive, maybe. It's a huge explosive swamp. Oh, jeez. Uh, groping tendrils of pale fungus rises from the muck. Gross. Oh, jeez, a lot of things in here. All right. Uh, oh, boy. Got jackals and goblins and everything. Anything that I can do for this? Um, got my haste charm. I don't think that's necessary in this situation. I can handle a couple jackals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, I got the jackal too. Where's that monkey at? He's way up there. Uh, I guess I can go try to handle that monkey too. Uh, oh, I'm gonna get killed by a monkey, aren't I? Oh well. Just try to chase him down because he probably just stole something from me. That's what monkeys do. Oh, fuck. And kobold. Oh no, kobold. Oh, kill the kobold. Okay, monkeys can open doors apparently. Okay, I just gotta catch that monkey. Where'd he go? Oh, god dang it. Where did that monkey go? Oh, come on. Oh, hey, the healing healing fruit. Let's uh, let's just rest for a little bit. Cool. All right, so where, where'd the monkey go? God dang it. <sighs> I hope I didn't, like, run past him. I hope he didn't just duke me out. What did he even take? Uh, I didn't take my charm or my staffs or anything. All right. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to swim. Nice cold water. Oh, fuck! I got s s shot by a goblin totem. Oh, Jesus. A uh, pressure plate clicks underneath the goblin, and what was that? Piercing shriek echoes through the nearby rooms. Uh, oh, jeez. What am I seeing? Oh, something to the north. All right. All right, all right. I'll just wait for the goblins to come out here. And there's a jelly coming at me, too. What is that? 
What are these things on the ground here? Uh, Eldritch forces have coalesced into this flickering ethereal weapon. Spectral blade. Why are there so many spectral blades? What is going on here? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, apply... Uh, haste? Get the fuck out of here? Okay, I can't... Did I apply the charm? Did... Did I? Charm, charm hasn't finished recharging yet. Uh, apply it to myself, or... Um, can I not move? Alright, come on. Come on. Come on out of here. Alright, alright, we took care of the jellies and everything. Our uh, rest... No, uh, rest, what is the rest? Z, right? Rest until regenerated? No, there's the jelly. Okay. Oh, it shows me right down there that the rest button is J. Oh, no, more jelly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Uh, apply... Invisibility potion? Oh, I'm dead. All right. Continue. Can I become a ghost? Oh, that's a nice fade out. Killed by a pink jelly on depth four with 300 gold. All right, cool. Uh, recording? Nah, no thank you. I already have a recording. Ha! See? Because I'm recording this. All right, so that was 26 minutes of, of nothing. I'm sorry for wasting your time. But that was a pretty cool game. I like it. I, I like I like it a lot. I wouldn't mind learning how how to play it better, learning how to be a master at it, like a dungeon crawl. <laughs> yeah, thumbs up. Two two critsy bear thumbs up. Good job. Thanks for suggesting it. All right, I'm gonna go now. Have fun. Goodbye. See see you on the other side. Yeah.